I want to welcome you here today and thank you for coming to celebrate and be witnesses here of this special moment in their life and love for one another and before God. You both look amazing. <laughs> Emily, you look beautiful. And CJ, it's the best I've ever seen you. You look handsome. <laughs> CJ, I've always looked up to you for guidance throughout hard times. Honestly, I don't know how anyone ever goes through life without a bigger brother. Um, you've taught me so much. You've taught me how to tell the truth and why it's important to be honest. And you've taught me how to be the person that I am today. And I thank you for that. So pretty. Aww. <laughs> Proud of makeup on you. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm like your dress. Thank you. Did you see the back? Oh nice. And I got the shoes on. Nice. <laughs> Um, I want to start off by saying I love you most. <laughs> I'm so grateful to have you in my life. You make me the happiest I have ever been. Through every laugh, cry, and argument with you, I have learned how to be kinder, more understanding, and carefree. I'm so excited to continue to grow with you and live in the moment of every day of our marriage. I know I can be difficult, <laughs> but I also know you can handle it. We are the best team since the A-team, and I want us to continue to have each other's back and build each other up. I'm looking forward to doing life with you and making it fun along the way. I promise to be your big, biggest cheerleader, your shoulder to cry on, and your safe place forever and ever. Uh, my best friend, my soulmate, I love you now and forever with all of my heart. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Emily, you're definitely wrong. I love you most. <laughs> um, to be more specific, I love how much you care about how I am and if I'm going to succeed in life. And I, was, I will always want the same for you. Promise to love you even when you call me stinky. <laughs> promise to bring you soup when you're sick. Most of all, I promise to listen to your rants and agree with you on all the amazing points you make on why all the other people are dumb. <laughs> it's so crazy to me um, how we just knew we were meant for each other from the start. As we always said, when you know, you know. That being said, I know I couldn't be happier being married to you. I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together. Me too. Mm -hmm. CJ, do you take Emily to be your wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, cherish her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto her? So long as you both show it? I will. And Emily, do you take CJ to be your husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor him, cherish him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto him so long as you both show it? I will. Well, 
by the powers vested in me by the state of Colorado, and as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I pronounce and present you as husband and wife. CJ, you may now kiss your girl. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Van. Uh, for those who don't know me, I am Emily Spanabotter, Brandy. I have known our beautiful bride for 10, 10 years now. We've been there for each other uh, for some of the hardest times in our lives. Accidents, breakups, emotional ups and downs, um, and a lot of hangovers. <laughs> but I have to say that I've truly never seen her happier than when she's with CJ. he decides to get engaged, which is okay, except that, uh, how did we find out, son? Facebook? Uh, not quite as bad as Facebook. We got a text. <laughs> Say, Mom and Dad, uh, I'm gonna ask uh, for Emily's hand in marriage. Oh, like, what? So we come up to Colorado a couple more times, and I remember sitting in their living room, and, I'm talking to Susan, and Dave's there, and Val's there, and we're kind of convincing back and forth, and I look over, and there is Christopher and Emily, just gooey-eyed, looking at each other. And that was the moment I go, all right, they truly are in love. 